Greetings, everyone, and welcome to ASMR Gaming News. Please hit that like button, sit back, relax, and let's begin. So, kind of a slow news week uh, this week since we are near the end of the year. This is actually the last episode of the year. Next episode will be in 2019. So that is crazy if you think about it. Uh, it's been a very nice year for video games. Lots of great games came out this year, so I was thinking of doing something special for the last episode of the year. Uh, I want to know what everyone's game of the year is. So, uh, probably going to talk about that near the end of the video. Um, because we do have some nice pieces of news this week uh, to cover, so let's get to that first. Um, okay, so first, a new trailer came out for Jump Force. Uh, this trailer premiered at Jump Festa. Jump Festa is a really big uh, event that they have annually in Japan where they basically show off, uh, you know, the latest anime-related stuff um, to uh, Shonen Jump, and also a lot of other things in the world of anime, manga, and video games. Uh, this year was actually a little bit disappointing, especially for uh, Dragon Ball fans, uh, because they were expecting some new uh, footage or announcements about the Dragon Ball Super Anime, and that didn't actually happen, so some people were disappointed, but that's a topic for another time. Um, so we got a new trailer for Jump Force. Um, it shows off characters from My Hero Academia and Black Clover, so definitely some fan favorites are going to be in this game. Um, this new trailer looks pretty cool. Uh, it shows off a lot of characters that we have already seen, like uh, Goku, but each time I see this game, I, I really get excited because I like how it is a like new 3D style fighting game, but it has characters from all sorts of different series fighting each other, and I think this is going to be a really cool game when it comes out. I already watched the trailer like twice before recording this and I'll probably watch it again just because it's really cool, like it just gets you hyped when you watch it. Um, I've seen some criticisms about the art style. Some people apparently don't like how some of the character models, like their faces look like. Uh, the game is still in development though, so I think they're going to have some, some time, you know, to polish out some of the character models make their faces a little bit more realistic to the manga or anime art style, so other than that, I'm really excited about this game. And so we have another announcement, uh, always at uh, Jump Festa. Um, Dragon Quest XI S got a teaser trailer. So, uh, Dragon Quest XI already came out on the PlayStation 4, uh, you know, to a lot of success. It's one of their best versions of the game uh, so far, like, from the mainline Dragon Quest series, I think. It actually outsold a lot of the previous games, so it did very well. And they announced a while ago that they were working on a Nintendo Switch version of this game. That would come out at a later date. So at Jump Festa, they had a teaser trailer uh, basically announcing and sharing some details about this version of the game officially for the first time. Um, honestly, it, it looks okay, judging by the trailer. You know, I, I haven't really noticed any differences. Uh, the graphics are probably going to be very similar to those found on the PlayStation 4. But what makes this version unique is that there are going to be some changes and some additions added to the Switch version. 
uh, one of them is the voice acting is going to be different. Apparently, the entire cast of voice actors has been changed on the Switch version uh, compared to the PS4 version, so that's interesting. Um, or at least the main characters' uh, voices have been changed, so... Uh, yeah, I wonder why they made that, that decision, that change, but... Uh, still really excited for the Switch version. Uh, so far, it's only announced for a Japanese release date, but uh, I think it's safe to say that it will probably come out in the West sometime later next year as well. So, if you have a Switch and you want to play Dragon Quest XI, that might be happening uh, next year sometime. So, excited for that. So, next, uh, we have some Persona 5 news. Ever since Joker was announced for, uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on Nintendo Switch, there have been a ton of rumors and leaks about a port of Persona 5 coming out on the system. And this week, uh, it's kind of been slightly confirmed because Atlas, the company that develops the Persona games, actually went ahead and trademarked and registered a bunch of domain names like uh, Persona 5M, a B, and S, and apparently Persona 5R is already trademarked before all this stuff happened, so... Uh, apparently they have something in the works, uh, nothing's been announced yet, but people are saying that Persona 5 will probably come out on the Switch and will be announced in the next few months, so keeping my fingers crossed for that. I'm really excited about a Persona 5 re-release. I had a ton of fun playing the PS4 version, so I would definitely play it again on the Switch if I had the chance, so really excited about this. Next, uh, the PlayStation Plus games for, for uh, January of 2019 have been announced. Uh, there are a bunch of games. Uh, Amplitude for the PS3. I actually have it on PS4. Amplitude is a great game by Harmonix. Uh, fun, like, rhythm music game. Uh, Fallen Legion. Uh, Flames of Rebellion is also going to be a plus game next month for PS4 and PS Vita. Uh, Portal Knights, that one's actually interesting, I might check that one out, uh, for the PS4, it is going to be a free PS Plus game next month. Uh, Steep is also going to be a PS4 game, uh, for next month, and I remember playing the demo for Steep and being kind of interested, but also, like, deciding not to buy it when it came out just because of some of the reviews. Uh, I know some people really enjoyed the game, I just never went, you know, got around to buying it, but now that it's free, I'm definitely going to try to play it and see if I like it. But yeah, it's going to be free. It's a snowboarding game that apparently controls kind of like Skate, the Skate games, or something like that, so haven't really had much time to play uh, Steep yet, so I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I'm definitely going to check it out when I when I get the chance. Uh, Super Mutant Alien Assault is going to be a game for PlayStation Vita that's free next month. And lastly, this is the best game, in my opinion, uh, that they're offering for free. Uh, Zone of the Enders HD Collection. Now, uh, Zone of the Enders, uh, I don't say this often, but you guys have to play this game, like, really, really check this game out when it's free for PlayStation Plus next month, like, it's a really, really good game, um, uh, well, Zone of the Enders 1, I mean, it's a very short game, kind of serves like a prequel, uh, uh, kind of complicated to explain it, but it's going to be two games, but Zone of the Enders 2 is definitely the main, more important game.
game, so if you're only going to play one, I recommend playing Zone of the Enders 2, just, before, just because, like, the first one is kind of a tech demo slash, I don't know, introduction to how Zone of the Enders plays, and it's not as important, but still, play both of them. They're great games. Uh, they originally came out on the PlayStation 2, and then they got an HD collection on the PS3, and now I guess there's one uh, for the PS4, so that's really nice. So yeah, definitely check out uh, those games. And let's see, next, uh, apparently a serious Sam collection is going to be coming out on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Uh, for those that don't know, Serious Sam is a series of, like, first-person shooters in the style of Doom and Duke Nukem. They're just really crazy, insane first-person shooter games. Lots of fun, really crazy, uh, over-the-top. I have some friends that are big fans of that series, actually. Uh, they're probably going to be picking this up. But yeah, there is an HD collection coming. Apparently, uh, it leaked. This wasn't like an official announcement. Uh, the ESRB rated the game, and that's how the information got got out there. So, uh, I guess there's going to be an announcement in the next few months or so about a serious Sam collection on PS4 and Xbox. So, if you never played these games, I recommend checking out some trailers and seeing if you like it. Uh, this is actually like the second time they've had a Serious Sam HD collection because there was one back on the Xbox 360 um, and PS3 I think as well. So they're popular games. A, a lot of fans uh, prefer some games over others, but still a very you know popular series in the first person like shooter mayhem style uh, genre. And next, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Uh, apparently, according to the developers, the game has reached its peak. So I guess they, that means that they've reached like the maximum point of development. They're getting very close to finishing the game. So that's exciting. Uh, I've been following the development of this game for a very long time now. But I'm very excited about it ever since it was first announced. And for those that don't know, Koji Igarashi, the man behind some of the best Castlevania games, is the developer, main, you know, director, creator behind this project. Uh, so he's working uh, tirelessly. There's actually some photos that they released uh, of, his, of him and his team working on the game. But basically, they want to make a game that feels like the Symphony of the Night style of Castlevania games for modern systems. And since he no longer works at Konami, he can't use, you know, the Castlevania uh, license or characters. So he basically created his own entire game that's going to play very similar, but have a completely, you know, story and art style that's different. So... I'm excited for this. Uh, there's some gameplay videos, trailers out there, so I'm hoping this game comes out next year. Uh, it's already been delayed a few times, so people are getting a little bit restless, but I think they're, they're going to understand uh, when the game comes out very polished that they just needed more time to fully, you know, develop it and finish it properly, so... Uh, I'm happy, and I can't wait to see how the finished product plays. And last piece of news, uh, the PlayStation Classic, uh, was announced, and a lot of people did not like it, uh, the menu system, the games, a lot, lot, lots and lots of criticism about the PlayStation Classic. It was Sony's attempt to make a classic, you know, old-school system, like, uh, Nintendo did with the NES and Super Nintendo Classic, but they failed, and now, only, like, a month after it came out, it's already on sale for, like, half the price, 
release. Uh, it launched for like $100, and now you can find it on sale in like uh, Amazon and a bunch of other like online and retail stores for about $50 to $60. So yeah, it's definitely dropping in price. Uh, and honestly, I still do not recommend getting one until it gets to like 20 or $30 because they just really, really botched the the system, the menu, the games that they included. It, it's just not a really good system for the amount of content that you get and the money you have to pay for it. So not recommended. And honestly, it's kind of sad that it didn't do well because Sony usually puts in a lot of work when it comes to like preserving their classic uh, systems and stuff like that. Like, uh, I don't know. I, I just don't know why this uh, PlayStation Classic was not good. So, kind of disappointed, but it's understandable. And now let's get to the discussion that is the title of this video. So, what is your game of the year 2018? Uh, just going to go through some of the biggest games of the year. If you already have a game, be sure to post it in the comments below. I'm curious what everyone's favorite game of the year is. Um, personally, uh, I already have my game. I, some of you probably know it, but uh, God of War was definitely a big game this year. Uh, Spider-Man also was another big one. Red Dead Redemption 2 was a game that won a lot of awards. And then we have Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Now, I'd say those four games are probably, like, the biggest and most popular, you know, games of the year. Then, if you like shooters, uh, there's Call of Duty Black Ops 4, which, uh, sold extremely well. People love the blackout mode. And if you like RPGs, uh, Octopath Traveler came out on the Nintendo Switch. And Dragon Quest XI came out on the PS4, so... I'd say those are probably, like, the biggest games of the year. You know, if you like RPGs, maybe you're gonna pick Dragon Quest XI. If you like shooters, you probably will pick uh, Battlefield V or Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Uh, if you prefer, like, story-based games, uh, maybe you're gonna pick God of War or Red Dead Redemption or even Spider-Man, which was a fantastic game of... Uh, even that won a lot of awards this year. Uh, personally, my favorite game of the year, 2018, is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um, ever since it was first announced, I was really excited for it. I love the Smash Bros. games. Uh, they have so much content, so much stuff to do, and they offer like hundreds of hours of replay value, so that's definitely my favorite game of the year. Uh, favorite ongoing game would probably go to Fortnite or Overwatch. Uh, those games came out a while ago, so they're not games from this year. But they are ongoing multiplayer games, uh, just like Rainbow Six Siege, which continues to update with new content for fans. So, I, I definitely put Fortnite and Overwatch in that category. But anyway, uh, what is your favorite game? Uh, let me know. Uh, my, there's a lot of great games that came out this year, even indie games. Uh, I know Celeste, uh, wait, yeah, it's called Celeste, um, was a very, like, big, important in indie game that came out this year. Uh, there's also a recent one called Gris, or Grease, uh, G-R-I-S, that came out on the Nintendo Switch. That I've been meaning to check out because it looks like a Ubisoft's Child of Light game. But yeah, countless games came out this year. Lots of good ones. A lot of them flew under the radar, actually. Uh, you know, lots of good games. And I wouldn't necessarily count to ports of older games like uh, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, and Luigi's Mansion. Those are ports of older games for modern systems, so I don't know if they would count as Game of the Year 2018, 
even if they came out this year because they're ports of games that came out a few years ago. Or, in the case of Luigi's Mansion, uh, more than a few years ago since that was like a 2002-2001 launch title for the GameCube. But, uh, yeah, just, just was curious to hear what everyone's favorite games were this year. And, yeah, uh, it's been a fantastic time on the channel, you know, uh, we finally reached 17,000 subscribers, so that's crazy. Uh, shout out to all the subscribers that subscribe to this channel, uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's nice knowing that so many people appreciate ASMR gaming content. And, uh, can't wait for next year, uh, I have a lot of stuff planned. Um, so yeah, definitely going to continue doing what I'm doing. And, yeah, just let me know in the comments, you know, uh, what your favorite games are, or game is, even if you have more than one game, that's, that's perfectly fine. Just wanted to get a sense of what everyone's favorite game this year was. Um, but, yeah, other than that, uh, happy early New Year's, it's going to be a few days before it's 2019, but, uh, I can't wait for next year and have a lot of great things planned for the channel. So thank you for supporting the channel, everyone, with uh, comments and likes and subscribing. It, it all really helps a lot. And yeah, now I can't wait to read the comments and see what everyone has to say. So if you liked listening or watching this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll be sure to have a new ASMR gaming video out very, very soon, so thanks again for watching, and I will see you all next time. So long, and...